All right, so I'm gonna have to redo the um, recording I did yesterday when we were live yesterday. Um, I'm just probably just going to do like a combo of just kind of showing what happened yesterday and then just kind of, you know, flopping into this right here. This is probably gonna be a combination of like episode two and three on the gameplay, but we are a one star survey crew corp member with a one star. We're probably gonna get two stars very soon. Right now, I'm just trying to knock out all the Pokemon agendas for all the Pokemon that are in this area. Of course, the Ponytai ran. Of course it did. Um, I'm not worried about keeping any Ponytais because we do have a mission that does allow us to um, pick up a shiny Ponytai. So there's no point in me catching one when I can have a shiny one. All right, Aqua Jet, because that is a Pokédex entry. Let's give me a chance to continuously use Aqua Jet. I'm with it. Good, three Aqua Jets in. That's gonna work for me. Awesome. So now let's, ooh, we have Drip Blooms in the area. All right, so let's check our Pokédex. Um, but Weasels is done. Oh, I don't need to use him anymore. He's done. Um, I need to build some my Pony tie. I need to see Eevee use Quick Attack a whole lot. Drift Bloom. Um, I probably need to beat Drift Bloom a couple more times. The only Pokemon that I have for that would be Shinx and Bite. Here goes some Drift Blooms chilling over here. All right, and all we have to do is just use Bite. I wish I could teach Eevee Bite, just so I can level it up a little faster. Bye, Drift Bloom. All right, here goes some more over here. Let me just draw one of them. Come here. Come on. It went away, okay. What the heck? Just popped up in front of me, what? Okay. <laughs> and it survived, how? How is Drift Bloom surviving these hits, bruh? This is no way. No way. No way. Oh, right there. Bite, bite. And oh, crap, it's daytime again. All right, we have to use EV a bunch of times. Um, I forgot what was the best way to um to get Eevee's happiness up. I know it was a bunch of this. I think it was using Eevee any kind of chance you can get to use Eevee. <gasps> it's your Drift Bloom over here. Two Drift Bloom. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to retire and go to um. Map. All right, let's go back to the village real quick. Or well, camp, then village. Because I want to ask that lady, can she teach Eevee um, an actual move that I can use? Yep. Let me report everything. Let me update everything, too. That's fine. I know I, know I didn't make a whole lot of money on it. Um, I made some good observations. I was eliminating. I'll update your Pokedex with the new data. A weasel's done, Ponytai's done. Um, dang, b -Doof still isn't done? Because b -Doof keep running from me. And then we have uh, Wurmple. Okay. I want to go back to the village. Oh crap, you know what I should have did? I should have just walked back to the village. I don't think I had to ask him for that. 
I'm gonna go talk to the move lady to see if uh she can give Evie some better moves, please. We need better moves here. Hey lady, I need a new move. All right, this Evie, hold up, which Evie is better? About what well, I love this one. Six HP will be better. Special defense. Oh wait, it showed you the IVs right there. Well, I have the better. <laughs> I have the better um Pokemon. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I have some grit. Hold on, guys. Um you know what? I think it's locked behind a new character person in the village that isn't here yet. So we have Swift, Baby Doll Eyes, Calm Mind, and Focus Energy. Crap. Nothing I can actually use. Crap. Okay. Shinx. What can Shinx learn? Ooh, Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, Swift. I feel like this is a waste of money. Um, what can Rattle learn that it doesn't already know? Yeah, we're good. I don't really think I want to do anything with Buizel. You don't have anything worth getting. Um, Fire Fang is probably stronger than Thunder Shock. Uh, we get Fire Fang and Ice Fang. Why not? Yeah, let me get those. Why not? All right. Um, I have a level three Drift Loom. All right. None of my Pokemon have evolved yet either. Um, all right. There should be somebody in the game who's going to show me how to use my grid stuff. I've just forgot who. Um. Pick my bitch in my bag real quick. Y'all just give it to him. I can't. Okay, I can't use it yet. I'm. I'm pretty sure something has to happen to where um that gets unlocked. Okay. That is a thing that has to happen. Okay, so we need to go back outside. And then I need to figure out what is next that I need to do. Uh, what do you want? Probably something worthless. Orenberry. Um, Survey Coast Boy. I just headed out to the field lands to go gather um, tumble stones, but I haven't got as many as Orenberries as I liked. Are you familiar with Orenberries? They restore HP. Um, you see where I'm going with this. Throwing Orenberries is ready to distract. Oh, crap. Hey, thank you for uh, reminding me that I can use Orin Barriers to distract Pokemon. Appreciate that. Hey, I forgot all about that, bro. I'm glad I talked to that young fella. He reminded me of a great way to use Orin Barriers. I literally forgot all about those. All right, let's set out. And what objectives do we need to clear? We still don't have b -Doof done. I probably need to beat... Two more Beedus, maybe. Let's beat two more up. Maybe that'll do it. Uh, quick attack. Y'all run, Beedus. I uh, use rollout and I just use attack again. All right. Now you go beat up one more B doof. Ooh, well my Pokemon can evolve. This is daytime. I think it's going to be a beautifly. No, it's the white one, so it's beautiful. I think the purple one is definitely dust, dust socks. Bye, Bidoof. 
Okay, so oof. Um, how do you evolve Pokemon in this game? Um Oh, you just yeah, evolve, do it. <laughs> evolve the Pokemon. Oh, I miss these animations. Oh, you can't tell me. These animations are fire. You can't tell me. You could tell me, but I won't listen. These animations are so fire. And it has an, an idea for a new move. Not learn a new move, it has an idea. What's your idea? Oh. Uh, we can get iron defense out of here for air cutter. Oh, wait. Wait, it says it has an idea for a new move. The, oh, it, okay, it probably just learned air cutter. Yeah. Okay, now we have essentially two. No, nah, it's just bug, or is it bug and flying? Okay, never mind. Beauty fly is blood, is bug and flying. Okay, um, sure. Um, does beauty fly have any? Oh, it probably does. Silicon has some more things. Crap. Ah, I shouldn't have evolved it this early, but that's fine. Number caught during daylight hours, number defeated, number you've defeated with rock type moves. The times you've seen it use stun spore, agile style. Okay, that's things to worry about later down the line. Did I finally get the B Doof missions done? Let me go update the professor real quick. I need some things updated so I can focus on what is the next task to do. I want to make sure that I'm strong enough to go deal with the next task, which I think is an alpha cricket, crickety, cricket talk. I think that's the next objective that I had to go knock out and fix. I think that's why they want me to go meet up with the, uh, the other chick from the diamond, uh, diamond side. So now let's look at the, uh, look at the Pokédex. Yes, b -Doof is done. Wormpole, you are next, bud. I need to defeat two more Wormpoles. Um, why not just let Eevee just stay there? Eevee can stay in the party. Um, let me give it an Orenberry so it doesn't faint. That's fine. It's about to hit level eight. There goes a Starly. Shanks. Or oh, she's it's some it's some wormples back. I know it's some on the other side. There's a lot of wormples on this back side. And I don't think I'm currently hold on. Where how do I use the um the crafting? Here we go. Let me, I don't have anything I need for the heavy ball yet. Let me craft a bunch of these. Yep, 24. I haven't made it far enough to go get the heavy ball stuff. Dang, fall damage. Suck it up, blood. We got stuff to do. Nope, leave me alone, Shinx. I am done with you. There is an alpha Lux Ray over here. Over here somewhere. There goes the Wormple. Yeah, there's plenty of Wormples over here. Yeah, we're good. We can stay right over here and farm as long as they don't run. Why is the game jumping like this? Oh no. Why is it broke? And it ran. God dang it. Oh, there, go. there it is. There goes the alpha. I think it's like level 16 or 18. They don't have any ground type Pokemon do anything to it. Like I have no way to counter that Pokemon whatsoever. Nothing. All right. Don't run, Wurmple. Okay. And that does count as me seeing it use poison, sting, count, um, 
Orange berry, cherry berry, that's paralysis. He was burned. I don't, have, I don't have anything for poison. Crap. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, I wonder if it'll be okay to carry Eevee around and then not, not lose HP. Okay, wait, is it done? Oh, the poison's gone. Okay, cool. Nice. I think I'm going to, I'm gonna get rid of it. Goes the alpha sneak around here. I think it's like level 20, I think. Not ready to take that on quite yet. Okay, so we defeated. I need to defeat two more Wurmples just to make sure. Two more Wurmples. I'm going to play around with the little Eevee thing. I'm just going to do this. There you go, little guy. Aerial Lace. All right, one more Wurmple. Oh, there goes a Beauty Fly. Oh, there are Beauty Flies over here. And it's level 19? Oh, snap. We get the train. Why I use iron defense, that is so hilarious. Yeah, I need the XP. Yeah. Yeah. I need that XP. Oh wait, my Pokemon can evolve. Hold up, hold up, beautiful. Eye. Hold up, you stay right there. I can evolve me Pokemon real quick. Bag. Starly can evolve. So evolve. Nice. Staravia. And you didn't learn anything. That's all good. All right. <laughs> These beauty flies stand no chance. Let's keep. Oh, no, it's air slash now. Ha <laughs> ha. Bye bye. It hung in there? No way. Y'all just hanging in there like that. Quick attack. Get it out of here. Get it out of my face. Gone and get. Level up, level up, level up. Ooh, Shinx cannot evolve. Yes, sir, boy. We got the Shinx that can evolve now. Um, Bop. Shinx. Cannot evolve. Luxray. Oh, Luxio, my bad. Oh, no, I've been calling saying Luxray and it's Luxio, my bad. Luxray is the last step. My bad. Um, ooh, Rowlet is next, by the way. All right. Um, obviously, Air Slash. Level 21 Pokemon went down so quick. Level 22, I see you in the back. I got fight the, oh, the other one is cheating, bro. How you don't come around the corner like that? Gets an air slash too, cuz. Gang, gang. 
What are we doing here? Level up, level up, level up. My Rowlet cannot evolve. Nice. Stand right up over here and just level up with the crew. Rowlet. I'm not gonna try to mispronounce this Pokemon's name. <laughs> Dark tricks. Okay. All right, so we got everybody fully evolved except for Boweasel. Um, I think we can report this back to the um to the professor real quick. Let's do that. Yeah, let's report my new Pokemon findings to the um to the professor. Cause guess what? I think I can now evolve my Drift Bloom. I think. I didn't know. I do not know which level it evolves on. Uh, Rowlet been done. Starlet been done. Shinx been done. So Luxio is next. Ooh, I can be promoted. Return to the village. Let me get promoted, boy. Yes, sir. Get in my second star. Let's go holla at Captain Celine. To get my new star. Recruit on the scene. Show me your Pokédex. That's it. Hmm. You made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. All right. I don't really remember what the second star is for. With this, you have officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use Feather Balls. Pokemon to level 30 will also obey you. The rewards you earn for your Survey Corps reports will now be more generous. Have these well. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Feather Balls. They don't have great balls just yet. Ooh, super potions. Nice. Awesome. So we just got two nice upgrades so far. Thank you. Thank you. I will take those. What's going on over here? Oh, bother some b -doof. Let me take that. Yeah, these are the missions, I think, in the city. Playing with Drift Moon and take that too. Got he has other crap he wants me to do too. Let's go. Wait a minute. Hold up. This guy does something for us. Commando office on third floor. Kill the good work. Oh, no. Hey, maybe not right now, but that guy does some stuff for us. I can't remember what he does, but he definitely does some stuff. All right. Um, yeah, who's first? I still have to do stuff for Wormpole still. Star Ravia, times you've seen it use Aerial Ace. Times you've given it food. Number of different forms attained. Number you have evolved. So, no. All right. I think I'm maxed out on EV. Number card times you've given it food. Okay, so I wonder how I give Eevee food. Not a curiosity. If I do this, stay right there. So that's not how you do it. All right. My business I had to look up. Crap. 
I give my Oren, give me my Oren Berry back. Can I get it back? No. Okay. No. Uh, Pokemon are healed up. We don't have to do that. This sucks. You know what? I forgot to do one more thing. Um, you. Yeah, come here. I want to see my Pokemon. I'm gonna put this beauty fly uh in here. I am gonna lie, get this boy weasel out of here. I really want this other EV in my party. I mean EV and Drift Bloom. All right, now I'm just gonna go down here and see what um and see what she wants. I think I have enough um Pokemon stuff going on here. I really want the Alpha Luxio, but I need like a ground type Pokemon to get that. And I think Geo Dude is across the bridge. I can't really remember. I think I remember it being like across the bridge. She, she got her Munchlax. It's definitely going to be that Cricket T mission. I can let you pass. Wait, I can't let you pass unless you're a first. Oh, at your ring, you should be fine. Go on then. Don't let your guard down. Now, retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Yeah, I'm strong enough, bro. Don't even worry about it. I'm a two-star. Not even a first star. I'm a two-star. Over here. My, this is smooth. My, my, a new face in the village. Now that it, not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I presume you're prepared to help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You can call me my. I suppose you might eat, not even know what a warden is if you're new to the Sui. Um, but such talk and wait right now, I would rather get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is, do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I do. That's good to hear. That security course of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. <laughs> this here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Okay. Oh, he wants a she wants a battle. Oh. Come on, my this ain't what you want. Hmm, you swift. Okay, much last is tanky. Jeez. Mm, Star Ravia. Wait. Um, air slash. Get rid of it. Good, avoid the attack. Now let's use quick attack. Battle decided. Well, it's pretty easy if you're only gonna bring one Pokemon to the to the battle. You really are one of those usual galaxy buffoons if you can defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battle for us. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kind of things with your crafty, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. Vivi chokes. Okay. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one of them. Um, rather like the legendary hero of old, uh, the one we tell our stories to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, 
I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon that's causing trouble upon Deer Trick Heights. It is a large, fearsome foe like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? To Deer Trek Heights. Got a phone call. Your arc phone is beeping. The thing you have is showing you where you've got to go, isn't it? Yep. My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of the one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. Uh, you'll do great out there. I know it. It seems you're quite the asset to the survey corps, new one. So before we continue, I must ask: Do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Of course. Mama, my, how about that? Though I'm not certain you've been told the true story, the true story is this. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of Asui was born in the process. It's by the grace of the Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Asui region to... Um, venerate almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has all only rarely been seen by any human if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Trick Heights is one of those honored few it is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Oh, I know who that is. That's all weird here. Follow me, you may understand. Yeah, bro. I'm just here to catch more Pokemon on this side of the tracks. Okay, there goes Cricket. I think Geodude is over this way, too. Level six, get it out of here. We got some more Starlies. We can avidly avoid y'all. It ran away. Smart choice there, Bucko. Ooh, something in the tree. Oh, burn me. Struggle bug. Okay. Um, let's catch burn me. Not too often we're gonna see this Pokemon around. It escaped. It grew in rage. Are you what? Okay. Oh, at Game Freak said Birmingham just get in rage all of a sudden and boost his own stats. What are we doing here? New Pokemon caught. All right, let's go back and let's um, heal Eevee. Awesome, there we go. Another tree. Find a good Pokemon over here, right? Just Starlies. Now there goes Bull Weasel. Let's pick up this log. Is that, is that all that's over here? Hmm. I might have to. Oh, 
Omega, we've oh, I've got the name of the Pokemon. Dang it. Alpha. I forgot the name of it. Okay, but that's a, that's on the Alpha Pokemon that we can't capture right now. We are not ready. Our EV got the material. Go ahead and catch this tree. I don't have you yet. So I'm put. Dang it! It's running. Gavin, hello. Welcome into the stream. Have a Taco Tuesday to you. Oh, there goes the Geo dude. Okay, that's what I've been waiting on. Uh, who are we going to use to get it though? Come at me, bro, if you want to. Uh, it has to be Datrix, huh? Get out there. All right, I need a Geo dude. Um, I don't want to kill it though. Let's see. All right, I just want to see how weak it was. Okay. Can't use any grass type moves on it. All right, let's try Ice Fang. Oh, wait, I didn't put it on me. Ooh. Okay, Bite is a dark type move, so we're good. Good, that should work. All right, um, Pokeball, go. Yay, we got our first Geo, dude. Heck yeah. Okay, there goes one Geo, dude. I can craft heavy balls now. Nice, so I can get to those materials. That Geodude wants a box, but I don't want no parts of it. This is the Cricket Alpha Pokemon. I'm gonna try my best not to kill it. Oh, what did she in the hood? I think she introduces me to Weird Ear. I can't remember, is it before or after? I think it's after. So even your professor decided to join us. Yeah, he tagged along while I cleared the way. The most stupidest looking professor they could have ever made. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha Pokemon. I suppose this that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out the way. This is Deer Trek Heights. This is where I've come to play to pay tribute to a special Pokemon, a Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. <laughs> That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with this racket. Oh, that's annoying. And that's what you're here for, Smooth. Get rid of it. Basically, just get rid of that alpha Pokemon, please. It's annoying. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They are strong and made no moves that others their kind do not. Um, they're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are stronger still than this alpha. So go out there and do it. I'm not worried about it, man. Just let me at him. Let me at him. They're showing me alpha Pokemon like I haven't just seen three already. Um, How do we want to handle this? 
I think it's level 13, if I remember correctly. Not scared of it. By any means. Oh, level 12. Whoa. Um. Agile style. Good. I had to take some of that. Um, quick attack shouldn't kill it, right? Good job. Now I can catch it. Good job, we caught it. Just caught our first alpha Pokemon. First of many. Cause I have Luxio in my, uh, in my sights. It's Nyx. You are really an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in alpha like that is truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. We best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of at the faces off against a, such a foe. I promise you. Our Pokemon are fine, bro. I promise you they are. And there goes the weird deer. Prince of Hosui, hello. Welcome into the stream. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are doing a um, replay through of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I haven't beaten the game at all, but I played so much of it. And I just never, ever, ever just beaten it. So in the light of Pokemon Legends ZA, I decided to not only play, replay the game, but also stream it. So that's what we're doing here. As you can see, we have Weird Deer just beat the Alpha Alpha Cricket. I'm the legendary. <laughs> Hero of old, nice. I got a whole lore from my name relating to this game. I would love to hear it because I literally can see that um, this is probably like what one of your favorite Pokemon games because it's definitely mine. Is this my favorite? Yeah, I think Legends RC is probably still my favorite because of what what we are doing as Pokemon trainers versus what we're used to doing. Uh, he looks upon you with kindness. I get to ride that thing. I said the great rear deer has taken a liking to you. That's fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hosui while bearing a human on his back. A human who deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Um, second favorite. Do some is first. Okay. Here comes a card. Captain Celine sent me. She said that once Smooth carried out his request, uh, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I thought we, I had one out here. How about that? I know this was a joint decision by Adam and, and the commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. Our Hasui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of this Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with Pokemon, then I imagine you should be allowed to use this land. The Great Red Deer has taken a liking to Smooth as well. This is a good sign. Uh, Slither builds and collects how the playthrough going so far. It's going fantastic. Um, this is my sec, well, third playthrough. But this is the one that I'm committed to beating. This is a, <laughs> I go, oh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Oh, okay. I was confused. When you uh said you something, but now now it makes sense. Uh Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, uh, this is my third time playing it. I have this is not my third save account. So hopefully I'm gonna beat it this time. Um, uh, I'll come to show my appreciation with the proper reward as soon as I can. And we have finished the request with my I am a two star right now, guys. Two star, two star. 
Um, if we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. Lore time. <laughs> uh, anyway, we should be able to have the to have that base camp set up once the construction core arrives. But hurry up. I got a Pokedex to complete, an alpha Pokemon to get. I got goals. <laughs> All right, um, here we have it. A new base camp upon Deer Track, Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp, please. Basically, I'm the Alabaster Ice Lands and the Snow Point Temple was me with my Hisuian Zero. Uh, Zero Or. Oh, you know, I've never, ever gotten into that part of the game, but I saw like random clips of it. Hasui Zora is out there. Hey. Ooh, I got some money. Came before me as a kid, needed some help apparently. <laughs> okay, so these are the new Pokemon that we had to work work on. Star Ravia just evolved, Luxio just evolved. I need to evolve um Geo dude. Before I end the stream, I want to catch the Alpha Luxio. But in order to do that, I need to. All right, I'm going to skip through this part because I don't care about what they're talking about. Um, I want to catch the Alpha Luxio before I end the stream. So I'm just going to skip through all of this. Uh, I'm sorry if anybody is here for the um, explanation of what they're talking about. I'm not um, too thrilled. They're not talking about anything, honestly. He walked up to me and asked for my assistance to find Almighty Sinnoh, and you agreed? Sound about right. The next day. Why are you at my door yelling? You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. <laughs> we caught many Pokemon and fill out his decks. Yep. Come on, Akari. There you are. Let's hurry to the headquarters. Guys, do not forget, before we get into like another long talking session with the commander, uh, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you do not miss any more streams on this playthrough of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And please do not forget to like the stream because uh, we're going, like, like I said, we're going to play this game until Pokemon Legends ZA comes out. We have guaranteed a full year from now to, you know, next year. We have a full year. So I get to complete the game. Or just complete all the Pokédex anyway. Um, there were a few things missing. Some genies, a lava spider, two sea fairies, three spirits, and four. We couldn't crack. We believe the almighty sin <laughs> I think y'all too from oh Adamant is from the Diamond Core. He said he has a friend about to talk to this lady, uh, Kogita. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office and Arita. Okay, so if I remember correctly, Arita uh she has this Scyther evolution. It starts with a K. The Pokemon starts with a K. I've been what it looks like, but I don't remember the name, but I know the name starts with a K. Uh, you haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is uh, Marita, the leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going on and on about time. Adam Man leads the Diamond Clan. I don't know why Akari just like judges everybody, bro. He gets everybody the mean look and just judges everybody. I don't know what's up with it. Um, let's go ahead and get another talking session out of the way. I thought it would be, go to the spirit pillar with the blessing of the spirits. Uh, we could tame Sinnoh. Uh, oh, we didn't go to the third floor. What you want, lady? I came at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone. You see, would you mind lending me a hand? 
These would be the right size on top of nice things. Okay, whatever. Another fetch mission. That's fine. Oh, wait. I can complete it. Where'd she go? What in tarnation? This woman disappeared? Bro, wait. How did she disappear? Whatever. I'm... Whatever. That was so random. However, it wasn't that easy after we defeated Palkia and Diago, Valo came along and did a murder of Ray. Ooh. And what do you intend to do about the uh Clevor? That's it. That's the name of the Pokemon. Clevor. That's what that's what that's it. Jacob, yo, welcome into the stream. What up, what up, what up, what up? Um, he may be a descendant from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. You can't just sit back and let him rage on. You do, you do get right to the point, Adamin. Time wasted is lost. <laughs> well, tell me, what would you have us do? Claybor is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't interfere directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. So I beat up his Garatina with nothing but Zoroark and my and my Yamega. Okay. But even fuck up the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got something to do here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of his own? Honorable Nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't have, we don't even know what drove Lord Clavar into such a violent frenzy. I like to know that myself. This is far as, as far as my clan knows too. I see you've arrived. Yeah, me, the problem solver. This is Smooth, the newest uh, member of the Survey Corps. Aha, I hear from my you earn Weirdest favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I am Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adaman. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be the could you be from the space where Almighty Sinno is said to reside? Yep. So I got the phone. After all that, I caught them all and all the Pokemon in Hisui, which I decreed to Sinno. <laughs> I'm a reader, leader of the Pearl Clan, caution and foresight of my watchwords. Arceus. which is why I'm having troubles believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through a time rift? I fell out the sky, bro. I don't know what more you want from me. That is a true statement. That's how we started the game. I literally just fell from the sky. I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Claybor before deciding what must be done? You send this stranger who supposed supposedly fell from the rift to study Claybor, this newcomer with no experience. Says a leader with almost no experience. <laughs> Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Suey's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If you know if how new you are doesn't matter, then let this kid have his chance. I'm so commander. Let's do it your way. This should be fun. I get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon those strange balls and whatnot. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sino made Hisui vast so Pokemon can live freely throughout. Uh, we're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We don't use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Smooth. I order you to study Claybor and help us find the truth of this situation. Lit. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the sky from above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to fully be accepted and trusted, you must work hard, work yourself to the very bone. All this talking. I'm running out of stream time, bro. All right. I'm just going to skip through all this because it's just a bunch of. Let's plan to send red to the future once more, but he was dead sent me. I create a team in the region of Paldea, a team of all Hasui Pokemon. It is a great time. Then, 
I like the lore store. I really like it. All right, what you want, lady? I'm um, all right, good. You're already here. Uh, Professor, the briefing, if you please. All right, uh, let's get right to it. So smooth. I understand that you've been requested to find out the cause of Clavor's frenzy, but as you are aware by now, Clavor is a mighty thing, not invincible even. Security, of course, tried throwing Pokeballs at Clavoy when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching it. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Yes. Just let me go do it. Very well, then let us go to the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to the Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point of the research would be the offerings they leave Clavor. Smooth, we need to speak with you. Oh my gosh. Listen. That rift in space-time seems like it connects the whole world to another world. That world might be where the Almighty Sinnoh itself resides, the true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through a space-time rift, that mean, that might mean you travel through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. You must have been just swimming in divine might. Well, i got a favor to ask of you. Don't just study Clavar. Quell is frenzy. But you certainly called us at a good time, you added, man. We were discussing our next steps in regard to the whole Clavar situation. Oh, you must be the Galactic Team Scholar. I've heard about good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Clavar. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get his get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come through right out and ask for the help of us. And the truth is, we in Diamond Clan have a similar Pokemon. The Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Clavor. Now there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but we've all got to share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. There isn't many capable of us standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. Uh, you'll find Clavor at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Lin. Lin is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. Uh, he'll tell you all about his beloved Clavor, whether you wish him to or not. All right. Please. Guys, I have an agenda. I have an alpha Pokemon that I must claim. And y'all holding me up with all this talking. All right. All right, let me go to the pasture. Uh, find yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across. It sounds that if that sounds like you, be wise to lend me your ear and see what I have to say. He's going to increase my satchel size. I remember this guy. You can carry around even more than that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. You got to teach me. For $100? Yes. All right. Yeah, teach me 200 Why not just kind of get this? This is the best use of how to spend your money. Let me just have all of the space that I can. This one's three hundred dollars. Why not? I spent six hundred yen so far. Getting more space in my satchel. Um, four hundred. Why not? I have the money. I haven't spent it on anything else yet. All right, it's the last one. Five hundred dollars. All right. No, I think I should be okay now. Um, yep. We definitely have uh, a lot more room in our little satchel.
Man, I hope I don't get stopped by any more people are trying to stop me. Look at that. My alpha cricket. Where you will stay. Yes, I want you to keep. Um, oh, for right now, I keep this Eevee. I want the Geo dude. Good. It's rocking ground type. I have a special place to go train. Oh, please don't want to stop me for talking again. I right, guess Volo again. I sort of hope you're putting that secret book uh, strike technique to use. Either way, it has super potions here just for you. Awesome. Thank you for the super potions, cuz. I don't need them right now, but I appreciate it. Yes, finally. All right. Now I really have to hurry up. I am like on the the most timeless of all time clocks with all of that freaking talking everybody wanted to do. All right. Um, my goal right now, chat, is to go over here and beat up like three or four beauty flies. Geo dude evolves, and then we're gonna take out Luxio. Alpha Luxio. That is the plan. Hopefully, I can hurry up and get it done. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Run, 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 run. Oh, come on, dude. Get up, get up, get up the hill. Are you serious? All right, let's run around. <laughs> Any other time, you be running right up the hill. Come on, up the hill. There we go. All right, it goes at Luxio that we're not ready to face just yet. All we have to do is just go back here and find the high level of beauty fly that just sit right here in this corner pocket in the back. I still wanna know what's the uh, origin of why this looks like this. I wish some other beauty flies will come over here. Air Slash. Okay, it went up to level 12. Nice. Strong style, aerial ace. Nice. All right, it's level 14 now. And then master the move. One more fight should be level 16. All right, um, strong style aerial ace. Because I also need to complete an aerial ace mission for Star Ravia 2. That's also a thing. I stopped at level 15. Crap. Oh, there's not any more um, beauty flies over here. Check. Yeah, he can't evolve just yet. Oh, there was one. Okay, beautiful fly. I'm gonna use air slash to get it over with. Does Geo do not evolve at level 16? Is it level 18? Crap. All right. Looks like we gotta put a pin in it today, folks. Gotta put the pin in it. God dang.